Welcome to our next video within SEMA F3 financial strategy syllabus. Um, this video will be devoted to the topic of real options. Um, the topic is interesting and students taking SEMA F3, they usually don't like it. They don't like real options in most cases because they don't really understand what they are and they don't really know what to do with them if they have them in the question. Now that's a bad approach because real options is nothing special. Real options is something we have every single day. Um, it's the decisions we make every single day and we do consider our real options. Why are they called real options? That is um, to separate them from theoretical options. So in theory, we can do whatever we like, but in reality, there are only certain things that we can do and other things, despite of how much we would like to do them, we can't do them and they're not real. Now, if we have real options, something that we can really do, maybe we don't want to do it now, but we can do it if the situation is such or if the situation requires that. Now, the, the real options have values because we can put value on them using the black skulls formula. Now, the way it works is that if you have an NPV of the project, but you have some real options. So for example, if something goes wrong, you can, whatever, sell the factory or, um, you know, sell a license within that factory, then you can increase the that net present value by the value of the real options. And this is where the real word comes becomes important because obviously you can increase the value of the NPV only if it's a real option, if it's something you can really do. Now, consider this. You may say, well, I want to invest in a country and you calculate the NPV of it and then you say, okay, but if it doesn't work, I will take all the machinery from that country and sell it um, in a different country where there is a big arbitrage possibility. Now that would be a real option for you. However, if in the country you want to invest, the labor law says, for example, that if you employ anyone, uh, the notice period uh, before you can uh, get rid of that employee is two years. Right? Your option to abandon that project is not real. You can't safely assume, oh yes, I will take the machinery and sell it somewhere else. Because you can't. You can't just stop on one day and move out of the country. Because you will have long tails of notices to be paid. Um, of two years of notices to your staff. So what you need to do is to analyze real options only. Things you really can do and if there is something like this if there is an option that provides value to you you will increase the npv of the project by the value of that option so what could these option be typical options are to expand delay redeploy or withdraw um, the option to expand is a call option which in which we basically can um, extend our project if we start it, then we have an option to do something more. If we put our foot in the door, well, it gives us an opportunity to do something more in the future. And the example here that you have in your express notes is that you may, let's say, have an opportunity now to start with a project in a neighboring country. Uh, by your analysis, the NPV of the project is negative. It gives you a minus one million. However, if you put your foot in the door, if you start doing something in that neighboring country, that will give you an opportunity to start another project which has the positive NPV of 
plus six million dollars but you can do the second one only when you have finished the first one that's how it will work you don't have to you don't have to start with the other project but you can and therefore this becomes just a pure option for you the exercise price of the option is the cost of the second project the expected present value of receipts is the NPV of the second project you need to determine the standard deviation all right because it's only an option right uh, there is some degree of uncertainty about it um, you need to deter determine the time horizon and obviously take the risk-free rate. Apply it to Black Shoals and you will have the value of that option. And that value, now you have project 1 with an NPV of minus 1. So the decision is, no, we're not doing it. However, option, well, project number 1 gives you an opportunity to do project number two. We've got an option to do project number two. And that value of the option should be added to the NPV of the project one. And if the total is positive, then probably you should go for it. Another option is an option to delay. You've got a project and you can start it now or wait a year or two years to see uh, whether the market gets better for the project. Remember, you're only talking about real options. If you do something for your pharmaceutical industries and your competitors are thinking about the same drug you're thinking about, you probably don't have an option to delay, right? And that's why in an industry where you do have an option to delay, that option does have a value. Withdrawal option or abandonment um, option is something that we discussed at the very beginning. Uh, if you go on with the project, but if things go wrong, if things are not the way you planned, you can sell something. In this case, you've got the right to sell the license. Then it's your option, which you have to take into account while calculating your NPV. Even if your NPV or even if your cash flows don't go as planned, you will still be able to realize some of the uh, expenditure incurred by liquidating the project. That's an option which you need to factor into your analysis. And finally, the option to redeploy. This is where you can take the assets from one project and use it on another project which is going on so you will uh, be able to rescue some value that's an option as well which needs to be incorporated into the value of the project so if you buy a lot of machinery for the project um, if the project doesn't go well it does not become a sunk cost because you can use it somewhere else therefore you've got an option that option has a value